Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Moto 360 which is a smartwatch by Motorola and I just uh, purchased this wire flip card. I got it on Sunday and today is Wednesday and it's been three days since I've been using this watch now and I just wanted to share uh, my quick impressions with it. This is not a review because I still need to test this product a lot more but I just wanted to give you my quick impressions regarding. The first thing is regarding the comfort. It's a very comfortable watch though it looks a little bit bulky but it is actually very comfortable on the hand and it's actually very light. It weighs just 49 grams and if, when you just wear it you just forget about it. Also I don't like the actual color of this uh, strap. It's gray in color but in the comfort department it is very comfortable. It's genuine leather and it does not irritate your skin or anything like that. So in the comfort department, it's a very comfortable watch. I have no issues with it and it's also pretty light. I was worried that it might be a bit heavy, but it's pretty light. And uh, again, it's a smart watch. So you can customize a lot of watch faces on this. And Motorola does give you a lot of uh, other watch faces that you can just move around as it's a smart watch. One thing that some of you have asked me is that the entire watch face is not a circle, but uh, at the bottom there is a gap. Let me just change the watch face. And this is the watch face. And as you can see, but I was not worried about it. I generally use the dark uh, watch faces. For example, personally, I was using this one and it did not bother me that much. Uh, so that uh, thing is not bothering me that much. And you just get used to that. Uh, apart from that, it pairs with your uh, Android smartphone and it should be running Android version 4.3 or above and it should have Bluetooth support. And personally, I have been testing it with the LG G3 and it's been working fine. One thing I did notice initially was that uh, on the LG G3, after pairing it with my Moto 360, the battery was draining a lot faster. I would say it was draining about 30% faster. But just yesterday, there was an update to Android Wear software, the software that you install on your smartphone. And after that, the battery drain has been reduced a lot. Now, if we talk about the battery life, I'm still testing it and I would say the battery life is kind of okay. Uh, it is lasting me average about 16 to 17 hours a day without an issue. So that's almost full working day. And the charging is also pretty easy. Uh, Motorola just gives you a simple dock and you just place the watch over there and it just starts charging. So it's very convenient to charge. Uh, so no need to plug in cables or anything like that. You just place on it and uh, it charges. But there's one big con with this uh, device regarding charging and I'll come back to it a bit later. But before that, let me talk about the actual functionality of this device. Uh, this smartwatch, this Android Wear smartwatch is nothing but whatever notifications that you might be getting on your smartphone, now you just get it on your wrist. So you don't have to take out your smartphone every time and you can just glance on those notifications. You can even actually reply to some. For example, I'm using the Talon app, uh, that's the Twitter client, and directly from the watch, I can just reply to the tweets. And in fact, on my Twitter account, if you see one line replies, I was directly replying via the watch. Also, I've been using it with WhatsApp and it's also working with WhatsApp. And also I do get notifications for my Gmail. What, whenever email comes, it comes over here. I can just tap it and read the email. Replying it is not a great idea. Yes, again, you can reply it if it's a small message, uh, but if it's a long word, you can just tap it and that it opens that email on your, what do you say, smartphone. So that way it is working as expected. And uh, the battery life, as I told you, is okay. Now coming to some of the cons with this device that I noticed is that again, if you notice the major interaction that you do with it is the voice recognition and, uh, and now you can just ask questions or set a reminder or whatever it does that it does not have a speaker uh, with it. So it just vibrates on your hand whenever you get a notification or you set an alarm and that way it works. But the thing is that this voice recognition, uh, I would say it works, but it's not 100% uh, foolproof. I would say it works just 80% of the time. When it works, it works brilliantly. But sometimes I'm just talking to it. It just does not recognize. I don't know if that is the issue with the Android Wear or with this watch. Uh, now, the biggest con that I'm having with this watch is that, as I told you, 
uh, it uses this induction charger that's wireless charging you just place on it and it starts charging and if you know this uh, induction charging uh, it's not new even smartphones have that and in fact I charge my LG G3 via that also but with induction charging if you notice the device does tend to get a little bit hot and one thing I did notice with this Moto 360 is that uh, first two days I was just charging it when I was sitting in my office and my AC continuously runs when I'm in my office and in those scenarios it charged fine up to 100% but just this uh, morning I woke up at about 6.30 and I just went into my office and I uh, put this uh, watch on the induction charger that is this one at 6 30 in the morning i thought by eight o'clock when i enter my office it should be fully charged it was just at about 44 percent at that time but at nine o'clock when i came it was just stuck to 82 percent and it was just not moving and when i picked up the watch it was pretty hot i just accidentally switched on my ac because i had some work and after about five minutes i set the ac to around 24 degrees centigrade and after five minutes when i just put the watch back on the charging cradle started charging so the issue is that uh, in hot countries like India uh, this watch might not fully charge to 100% if uh, the ambient temperature is not cool I noticed that if the ambient temperature is around 25 to 24 degrees centigrade it is charging fully but even if it was around 28 29 degrees centigrade in the room it was not charging fully so I feel that that's a big con so now I have to charge this device when the ac is running otherwise it does not charge fully so i feel that is a slight con and this is not just happening to me one other user also when, uh, when he purchased this watch on sunday itself he tweeted me that his watch was also not charging beyond 92 percent and i googled about it and i found one or two people also complaining about it but when uh, they switched on their air conditioners or etc and the ambient room conditions were uh, a little bit cooler it charged to 100 percent so i feel that that is one of the major cons with this watch as of now because it's not even summer over here in india and i doubt how would be the charging in summer if you don't have air conditioning or something like that so certainly this moto 360 is a first generation product i would say and it's not a perfect product it has some bugs but again it is pretty functional but not perfect and among the other android wear watches that are available as of now i do feel that this moto 360 is one of the best i'll also be posting a full in-depth review for this moto 360 again after st uh, testing it for a week or more so stay tuned for that thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video